now come to next memory based question of csir net and uh, in this question a is a n cross n matrix whose entries from r and also given that uh, rank of uh, a power n square is equals to 0 where n is greater than equals to 2 now in this question we have to find out uh, the characteristic of a such that uh, a has n li eigenvector now options a not equals to 0 matrix a is a 0 matrix rank of a not equals to 0 and option d none of these uh, for this question uh, as we know that a is a n cross n matrix whose entries from r and uh, rank of uh, uh, rank of uh, a power n square is equals to 0 this implies that uh, rank of a power n is equals to 0 because a is a n cross n matrix this is also a direct result uh, as we know that uh, if rank of a matrix is 0 this implies that uh, that matrix is equals to 0 and by using definition of a uh, nilpotent matrix a is a nilpotent matrix here say this equation but uh, in a given question uh, we have given that uh, a has an linearly independent eigenvector this implies that uh, a is a diagonalizable matrix say 2 uh, from 1 and 2 this implies that uh, a is a 0 matrix and uh, from the given option option a is incorrect because we have according to given question a is a 0 matrix and option b is correct uh, option c rank of a not equal to 0 as you know that if a matrix is 0 then rank of that matrix is 0 so option c is incorrect and option d incorrect now come to next memory based question that is uh, it's a part c question and in this question we have given that uh, limit superior of a n is equals to minus limit superior uh, limit inferior of a n actually its other version is limit superior of an is equals to minus limit inferior of an now in this question which of the following options satisfy star equation option is an is equals to 1 upon n an is equals to minus power n into 1 plus 1 upon n and third option an is equals to 1 plus minus 1 power n upon n and option d is an is an enumeration of all rational numbers in open interval minus 1 to 1 now come to explanation uh, for option a as we know that an is equals to 1 upon n limit n tend to infinity of an is equals to 0 this implies that sequence 1 upon an is convergent sequence and this implies that it's a limit superior and limits inferior are equal and r equals to limit that is l so in this case uh, from star limit superior 0 equals to minus limit inferior this implies that this is true so our option a is correct for according to given question and for option b an is equals to minus 1 power n into 1 plus 1 upon n uh, in this question just use definition of a limit superior and limit inferior as you know very well and this implies that uh, limit superior of an is equals to 1 and uh, and limit inferior of an is equals to minus n minus 1 <coughs> and uh, limit inferior of an is equals to minus 1 and now from star limit superior equals to minus of limit inferior this implies that 1 is equals to 1 that is true so according to given question option b is also correct now come to option c that is a n is equals to 1 plus minus 1 power n upon n in this case when you apply limit n tend to infinity this is equals to 1 that is it's a convergent sequence and we know that in a convergent sequence limit superior and limit inferior are equal and equals to limit that is l uh, so from star this implies that limit superior equals to minus of limit inferior uh, but uh, we know that 1 not equals to minus 1 so false so according to given question option c is incorrect now come to option d that is uh, we have given that uh, an is a sequence that is a enumeration of uh, all rational number in open interval minus 1 to 1 now uh, as we know the concept of uh, enumeration of a rational number 
symbolize that uh, there exists a subsequence of a n which converts to one, and there exists a subsequence of a n which converts to minus one. Now this implies that limit superior equals to one, and limit inferior of this a n is equals to minus one. So from star, this implies that limit superior equals to minus of limit inferior. This implies that one is equals to one. That is true. So this implies that option D is also correct. Now come to again options. That is option A is true according to given question. Option B is also correct, and option C incorrect, and option D is correct.